Sometimes you don't know what I'm doing this night. I'm just trying to wake a generation up. There are many of us, we don't know who we are. That's why Satan is behaving like he is a champion. When you discover your identity, finally you will realize the strength of Satan is ignorance. You are only as weak as to the degree of your ignorance. The more you know, the more you know, the greater the level of power you command. In this kingdom, power is directly proportional to knowledge. There is power on every light you have. There is a power that accompanies every revelation open to you. There is power registered on every revelation. And so there is nothing, you know, I deem more important than to start a conference like this on the platform of bringing everybody to the eternal remembrance of their true identity. I am a God. I came from God. My father is God. I am a God. Sometimes when I wake up in the morning, the first thing I say, before anything, a God, a God has woken up again. I look at the mirror and I speak to myself, you are a God. The deliverance of a nation is on your head. People look at me and they begin to, you know, make all kinds of assumptions. Everybody is an expression of the quality of their mind. If you open my heart, I see myself as the oracle of God to a generation. I might not be there yet, but my mind has gone there. My body will catch up. My mind is already there that if God needs to wear a special vessel, I am the one. Guess what that thought does for you? The very revelation that you are a God. In your day of temptation, you will not struggle much. There is a consciousness. God's, God's cannot do this. If the Holy Ghost wants to make me overcome, he reminds me, how can a God lie? How? Guess why people lie? They are trying to either impress people or they are trying to escape a perceived punishment. All kinds of issues. When you know you are a God, nothing can trap me. I say the truth as it is. If you like it, if you are angry, I know that if you get angry because I told you the truth, there is something I carry called favor that will still make you bless me, not even liking me. <laughs> I'm a God. I have a feeling that we should let's let's tarry here small. Let's use priesthood and cement this revelation into our life. You know, how many of you use an Android phone here? Don't pretend. Just raise up your hand. It's a good thing. Good. Now, have you ever downloaded an app before? Which I know you have. Right? It doesn't even have to be Android. Any phone. Have you downloaded an app before? Come on, Botswana. I need response. Did you observe that when you downloaded that app and it was already in your phone, it was already yours, but you still could not use it? there was another process called installation. Right? When you receive any light, when you see any truth, any revelation, it's already your own. But you cannot assess it yet until you use prayer to force it into your life. Listen, prayer is the installing process of any light or truth that you see. When you hear it, it's equivalent to downloading it. After you are done downloading, you must install. Now I want to invite people to join me. Let's install an application called God. You are, you are trying to install it upon your vessel. It's not enough for you to be shouting, I'm a God. Have you heard people who are shouting, I shall not die, and yet they died? Oh, I travel a lot, so I see strange accidents on the road. Sometimes you see the car squeezed beyond, beyond recognition. Guess the sticker that was on the car. Eh? you will not guess I know you know I have seen sticker no weapon formed or fashioned against me shall prosper yet the car is squeezed is squeezed like tissue paper it's not enough to put it in your head download it into your life the only way you download it is to carry that word and pray it until it enters you when you start praying, eh? when we pray this night, you will know when the app has installed. 
I'll tell you how you know. As you are praying, as you are praying, as you are praying, you will hit a point in prayer where a victory note will be quickened in your soul. Something will just give you a knowing that it is done. When you hit that place, installation is complete. Now God wants to own the hotspot of the kingdom for people so that you download. And for those who have followed thus far, it's time to pray with what? Are we ready to pray? I, 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 I don't want to believe that I'm trying to, you know, motivate people to do things that they don't know the meaning of. Your prayer is just one. Lord, the man you created, the man you fashioned from the studio of eternity, the person you had in mind when you were creating me, I don't know what is happening in my life at the moment, but as I begin to pray, I evolve, I ascend, I upgrade into the real fashion you had in mind when you created me. When you are done praying that prayer, the end of that prayer, you will become a God. Are you ready? So I'll give you a prayer point and then we pray. Our prayer is for five minutes, uninterrupted. We will know whether you, you are interested in leaving your footprint on the sand of time. At the end of the day, it is only gods, only gods that will reign on earth. He has made us a kingdom of kings and priests. We will reign, we will reign. If it is this life, you will have to become a god before you reign. I will tell you why. In 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 4, the Bible says, For Satan, the God of this world. And so, if your enemy is operating as a God, you, you must also manifest as a God. Are you ready to pray now? Your prayer point is, Lord, whoever you designed me to be, whatever you had in mind about me from the foundation of the world, as I begin to pray, upgrade me to my true identity. Lift up your voice wherever you are. Upgrade me to my true potential. Throw me into heights. Give me wings to ascend. I'm tired of being a victim. I'm tired of arguing with men. You say I am a God. Expose my God identity. Baptize me with fire. Pour fire from the crown of my head. <laughs>